the prime minister should walk to the house of the general governor and say, okay, let's call an election. I know that is not the Conservative Party of Canada's forte. And the budget will balance itself. So, um... Well, it seems the deadline has come and gone, and the Quebec Premier is gearing up for an election. Welcome back to Canada Wide, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's tune in to hear what he had to say. Has not been met by the Liberals. I'm sorry. Can you outline what your party's position is now that the deadline has not been met by the Liberals? Our party position is exactly what we said five weeks ago. The government was um, invited to pass into laws uh, two uh, bills that came from the Bloc Québécois but were approved and supported by all parties in the Parliament. They had until October 29th, which is today, to deliver that, which they did not do. We said five weeks ago that if we were not received that, if four million of Canadians between 65 and 74 years old were not to receive what we asked, if producer under supply management regime were not to get what we asked, we were to start discussing with opposition parties in order to have this government fall. And this is exactly what we are starting to do as of now. Are you open to, are you open to another conversation? If, if, if the government comes to you today, tomorrow, even the day after, are you open to a conversation to keep that going if you get what you want? Have they come to us yesterday or the day before? No, we haven't got what we wanted. If before, of course, if before they fall, they give us all we have asked under the terms that we have described, we don't have a choice but to take it. But we are not negotiating anything as we speak. We are negotiating with opposition parties in order to have the government be so, just, uh, so, so that will mean your support power. as well. Just if they give support. you, if you give you what you, if you, if they give you what you ask for, even if it's after this date, does that mean they regain your support? Let's say that if they give us exactly all we have asked for before they fall, because if there's a vote tomorrow, they might fall tomorrow, we will look into it and we will be coherent with all what we have said so far. We want precisely what is in Bill 3, uh, C319 and in Bill C282. Bring that to us and we'll discuss. But in the meantime, in the meantime, they are seriously in danger to fall. Are you committing, just to be clear, are you committing to voting against the government on every confidence vote moving forward? If the, it depends on the way it's written. You know, if it's uh, against the values of Quebec in terms of language, in terms of secularity of the state, in terms of immigration, in terms of uh, environment, we're not stupid. We will not go against what we are. This is why I say that the most simple way to do it is a motion that says that the, the chamber, the parliament, uh, removes its support, its confidence in this government, and that's the end to it. The, tra the, the tradition being what it is, the prime minister should walk to the house of the general governor and say, okay, let's call an election. Jean-Yves Duclos, Jean Duclos called it an artificial ultimatum today, this morning at Cabinet Inn. So what's your answer to that? He said a few days ago something absolutely fascinating. He said, well, you have to be in the government in order to do something. He's not going to do something anytime soon. So opposition have a role. We have something to do. We have probably changed a majority of bills which have been adopted in this parliament, making those bills better for Quebecers. This is the way a parliament works. So it's saying that being government is godlike, being an opposition is nothing, like both Mr. Duclos and Mr. Poiliev seem to say those days, is a lack of respect for the choice that people do. And if being in opposition is useless, I will say that the Conservatives has been, have been useless for nine years, and that the Liberals might become useless soon. Um, 
He's ready for an election. Jagmeet Singh has said he's ready for an election, but he doesn't want one. Are you ready for an election, and do you want to have one right now? About. I'm ready for an election. That was one of the reasons why we said five weeks ago that we were giving ourselves and the government five weeks, five weeks to go toward the bills, which they didn't do, five weeks so that there would still be time to go into election before having an election which would be between Christmas and New Year's Eve, and five weeks in order to be absolutely ready to go into election tomorrow morning. Not only are we ready, but we might be expecting that with enthusiasm. I do not believe that Quebecers want elections so much, but I do believe that they will understand that this is where we are now. Are you working with the, are you working with the Conservatives about stopping their filibuster so you can get this on the road now? If the Conservatives want the government to fall, they will have to stop being childish, childish, sorry, I don't, I don't use it often in the Parliament. They will have to say, okay, this Parliament has to work in order for us to go on with a motion that would uh, put an end to this government. So now they seem to be working against their own intention. That's great news. I think this uh, French premier is ready for an election and Trudeau is too busy. He gave $5 billion to Ukraine last couple days ago in a snap. Boop, all gone. Money disappeared. Poof. And, you know, all that stuff's going on and the the Quebec premier, maybe he's going to actually pull it off and call an election and force Trudeau and Jagmeet, Jagmeet to do that. That would be amazing to see that finally have this happen. Of all the things that you think would 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 have been the ones that brought down Trudeau to actually have a vote, I didn't think it would be the Quebec premier. But let's see you in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching Canada Wide. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.